Okay, good morning, Mooners. So I wanted to come and do my October layout for Track Your Cycle. Um, I've been putting this off and putting this off because I wanted to make a video and I couldn't get fancy. I'm really just kind of throwing this together just because I really need to get my calendar together, but I wanted to share. So this is what I have. So this is my September. Um, just to look back, I'm going to show you how I put my phases in the ovulation, luteal, and then my menstrual phase, and of course the uh, flow lecleer phase. Um, and yeah, so we're going to go ahead and put this together. So each month in my um, planner, I have the month and then I have like the overall like track your cycle symptoms. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and go through this real quick with you all. Um, September was a uh, an okay month. Um, if I had to describe it with these emojis, I'd probably say it was nah, <laughs> whatever that is. Um, I definitely had headaches. I had cramps. Um, my appetite had increased and my energy had decreased. Definitely. Um, for my flow, I'd have to say that it was probably moderate and I like to do this usually like right at the beginning of the month or right after my cycle. Um, just so where I'm not guessing, I'm kind of like right in it, if that makes sense. Um, and so my duration, um, my period lasted like seven days, if not more. Um, and I had some notes, if I have any notes. Um, I definitely had more cramping than usual. This cycle was definitely not like my rest, uh, like my previous ones. More cramping... Um, yeah, so I just wasn't feeling it September, and I know exactly why. Um, I've been going through some changes as well as I ran out of some of my vitamins that I was using, so um, that definitely has a big part in it. So this was September. That was overall September. Moving on to October, just so I can get this in here, I want to show you how I lay out my phases is why I came um, to share. So we're just going to put Sunday, Monday, Tuesday... Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday to fill in the numbers. So it's the month started on a Tuesday. And this really helps me plan for my month as far as knowing what cycle I'm going to be in um, on what day. So, you know, I can better plan for my moods and whatnot. Because as I share in my Facebook group, uh, my moods in my luteal phase, especially the beginning and middle part of my luteal phase, are not to be messed with, okay? Like, I cannot do anything outside. And if I have to, then I'm prepared to know that my energy will be low and I will be off. And people that know me know that <laughs> that is me and that is how it is. And it's no disrespect to anyone. Um, they all know. Most of my friends know. Um, so my expected period for September, that's why I have this here to look back, is usually on the 26th. But for whatever reason, my period has been coming on the 23rd. So this, for October, I'm going to mark it for the 23rd. And I just put expected. And this is how I start. So this here, I know, will be my menstrual phase. And so if I had my menstrual phase here for September, uh, let's see, my period lasted about seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so I'd say my flow lecleer phase started here. And that is the phase right after your period. And that usually lasts about 10 to 14 days. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'll mark mine for 10 just because I know my, my phases. Um, and after the flow lecleer phase is our ovulation phase. So ovulation is our shortest phase, as I always say. And that usually lasts about three to four days. So I'll put it for these four days here. Uh, let's see. And then comes your luteal phase. Uh, yeah, so ovulation will be up here as well. 
And then my luteal phase starts here. And luteal phase is that span right before your period. And honestly, if I had to say that is the, the worst phase, that's more intense than my menstrual phase, literally. My mood swings, everything about it is just off. My hormones, everything, my appetite. So I would say, um, again, during this phase here, my luteal phase, I try not to plan too many things. And again, if I do have plans, which I will because life happens, um, I just go in with an open mind knowing that I may be a little drained and I may be a little off. Um, so yeah, this is why I came today. Um, it's real quick and real simple, straight to the point. This is how I do my Track Your Cycle um, planner. Uh, I've done this for the whole entire year of 2019. For 2020, I definitely plan on doing it different. These, um, what are they? The Happy Planner rings, they don't work for this for me anymore. Um, so I'm thinking I may go to FedEx and get it, um, you know, that plastic uh, bound or however you say it. Um, but yeah, this is what I've been doing for 2019. I am a planner head at heart. I cannot, uh, I cannot live without my planner. Hence the reason why I had to come and do this real quick. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, I do have a free, um, download for this on my Facebook page. Um, for 2020, I do plan on hopefully, you know, getting them professionally made and adding to it and getting it out to all of my goddesses because this, again, has saved my life. So many days I go in and I'm like, yo, I'm not feeling it. And I look at my face and I'm like, okay. Or I'll be like, damn, you know, today's a real good day. I'm feeling real good. And I've noticed that I'm in my ovulation phase. And this is all because of this planner. So I wanted to come and share. I'll go ahead and end this up uh, because I have to go. Uh, but this is Track Your Cycle. Um, the four phases of us, literally, like... These four phases mean everything. Track your cycle, plan your life, period. Have a great day.